Hi guys, today we're going to talk about our science visual notebook and walk through how to set it up to be used throughout the year. So your science visual notebook is going to be the notebook that you use to take all of your notes throughout the entire duration of your science this year. Let's walk through how to set up our notebook so that it's ready for us to jump right into unit zero. So step one is the cover. There are only three things that must be included in the cover of your notebook. That is your full name, meaning your first and last name, your grade, meaning sixth, seventh, or eighth, and the name of your cohort. So to set up my science notebook, you can see here that I've put my full name, my grade level, and that it is my science notebook, and my cohort, because this is going to be my notebook for my Princeton cohort. Once you've done all three of those things, your cover is all ready to go. The next thing that we need to set up within our visual notebook is our table of contents. This will allow us to keep track of and easily locate any notes or information that we need throughout the year. So our next step is to set up our table of contents. So what we're going to do is open our book and on that very first page in your book, you're going to set up your table of contents. Now what I recommend is using these built-in margin lines as your columns for your table of contents. So at the very top of the page, you are going to label it table of contents. In this left-hand margin here, you are going to put a column header that says date. In the very middle, in this wide column, you are going to put title. Here is where you will put the title of the notes or the assignments that are on that page. Finally, in the right-hand column here, you will write page number. And now we have our table of contents all set up and ready for us to take our first set of notes. Here then, going to work on the next piece of our notebook setup, which is creating the divider tab for our first unit, unit zero. So on that first page after your table of contents, you are going to fold this page into a neat flat triangle to serve as a divider for that first unit. The next thing we want to do is set up our tab divider for our first unit, unit zero. So what we're going to do is skip the first page and then we want to skip one more page after that table of contents. This is the page that we are going to use to set up our tab divider. So what we want to do is take this page and flip it over. Now what we want to do is simply fold it into a nice triangle to serve as a divider. So how we're going to do that is flip the page back and line it with the inside spine so that it folds into a nice neat triangle like this. Then we simply want to repeat that for the other side of the paper. Fold that back so that it lines up with the other half of the triangle and with the side of the book. You want to make sure that you make your triangle nice and neat and that you fold it down nice and tight so that when you flip it back over, it looks like this. Now all we need to do is label it however you like with the unit name, which is unit zero, skills and practices. Now you're all set with the tab divider for that first unit. The very last step of our notebook setup is to start our page numbering. So to do this, we wanna go ahead and open back up to our unit zero divider. Now starting on the page after your unit zero divider, you are going to start numbering your pages in the lower right hand corner, like so. From one all the way up to about 50 today. And of course, as needed, we will add more pages as we fill up our notebooks. Once you're done numbering up to page 50, your notebook is all set up and ready to use in our first lesson of unit zero.